Hi everyone, it's Kate here, just touching base with you this Friday afternoon. So I just thought I'd have a little bit of chat with you um, just about an idea that was popping into my head this afternoon or this morning um, and it was our ability to procrastinate and I am not um, immune from that at all. Um, I was just earlier today at um, the dentist. Um, that's something that I have been procrastinating about for quite a while because I know I've got to um, get a few different things done. I've got to get my wisdom teeth taken out and some other work done. So I've been procrastinating getting that done for ages. And so it made me um, think about what happens to us when we begin to put things off that perhaps we know are good for us. And I suppose one of the ideas I kind of sometimes have to go is it, um, are we procrastinating because we, um, you know, just don't, can't be bothered, don't want to get it done, want to avoid it in some way, um, or it is it not a priority for us? So if we prioritise things that are important to us, then we generally get them done. We put them into our calendar, we make time for them rather than saying we don't have time or there's never enough time. That to me is sort of the talk of procrastination about why it's not possible to get it done, which tells me that I'm saying it's not valuable to me. It's not a priority to me right now. So I think for me, when I try to move myself through procrastination, it's about saying this is a priority to me and coming back to why it's a priority to me. So I was able to do that. And sometimes it's also just about um, taking those first small steps. So just for me, just making those phone calls, booking things in and then setting them to one side and then just going through my routine or going through my calendar. So I'm just curious to think how other people manage um, procrastination and how and whether they've ever thought about it in terms of is this a priority for me and and what does that mean for them if they say this is not a priority for me when you know they might have been doing some procrastination around different things. So um, certainly you know I know when I see kids procrastinating um, it might be because it's hard or it's unpleasant or it's a bit uninteresting to them and that's totally fine um, I mean I suppose you know trying to rephrase some of those things in terms of um, wh whether it's a priority or whether it's important to have some of those tasks done help us move forward some of those harder things so just thinking about yeah what happens um, in your day-to-day -day life in terms of things that you notice you procrastinate about things that you say yeah I'll get to that or I'll get to that later or in a minute and then that minute never never happens so and what can happen when we do that ongoingly like we don't get to those things that may be important but we're not prioritizing for whatever reason so certainly knowing what your uh, priorities are certainly knowing you know what's valuable to you to your family to your family goals um, or to things that you want to get done I think it's really, really important. And I think, um, you know, just coming off the back of running spectrum steps with families and thinking, getting them to think about, um, you know, different areas of their life and really looking at, you know, what is a priority was a really important um, thing to be able to do. Hey, Kira, thanks for joining. Um, and yeah, so I kind of think, well, that comes, I come back to that all the time whenever I find myself, you know, procrastinating or not doing things that I know I should and I know that are good for me. Um, and how do I make myself do some of those things? And, and if you've got those challenges um, with yourself, um, we know that our kids are gonna have some of those challenges as well. So how do we make it or help them um, create some of those things as a priority so um yeah just a, a little thought over the over the weekend i think we've in victoria we've actually got a long weekend coming up so it may be a little bit more space to do some things that you feel are a priority for you whether that's connecting with family whether that's doing some self-care i've been really fortunate this week that um with the gyms opening up further times i've been getting back into um, doing really regular yoga and along with that comes mindfulness as well. So um, when I've been practicing more of that relaxation and mindfulness, I've just noticed um, you know, a freeness of thought that's been happening and my creativity is able to kind of come through. So that's sort of like an added um, bonus of when I prioritize my health, um, lots of positive um, flow on often happens from that. So I really encourage you to, to think about what are your priorities 
boundaries this weekend? Um, have, have there been some things that you've been procrastinating about that you know that you really um, need to prioritize and get done because they will have, um, you know, add lots of value to your life and have a really positive flow on effect. So I hope you have a lovely Friday afternoon planned and um, don't forget if you're interested or have been thinking about maybe um, joining me for Glimmer, which is my program for parents new to autism, um, that you're still able to do that. We're still taking um, names if you're interested and we start our very first education session on Monday with our first meeting next Friday so we can open right up until next Friday if you are able to join us have a great weekend and I will see you again next Friday for my Friday live talk to you soon bye